case scenario. You finally get to sit down and play a match of your favorite online multiplayer game, only to find out that the lag is making it literally unplayable. It's something we've all experienced. There are few things that can reach such high magnitude of annoying for gamers as lag. Since every split second counts in these matches, lag can and often does make the difference between victory and defeat. Now, unfortunately, there is no way to completely eliminate lag. But the good thing is that there are several ways in which you can minimize it. And we're going to go over all of them in this video. So without any further ado, let's begin. First things first, let's go over some of the basic terminology just so that we're all on the same page moving forward. We'd say it's safe to assume that everyone who's ever played competitive online games has heard both the terms lag and ping to the same effect. But lag and ping are actually two different things, even though they're often used interchangeably. Ping is a networking utility that's used to measure latency, whereas lag is latency itself. This latency measuring is done by tracking the time it takes for one device to communicate with another, usually a server if we're talking gaming. The name ping is derived from sonar technology, since sending an echo packet request can be seen as tantamount to sending out radio pulses to see what they pick up. After your device gets this echo packet back, it shows you how long it took to accomplish the whole exchange in milliseconds. This number in milliseconds is what we call latency or lag. So what happens when you're playing with high lag is that you're getting the data from the server slightly later than the rest of the players if we assume that all the other players have lower latency. And since every millisecond counts in online exchanges, you are quite literally playing with a huge disadvantage. So now that we're clear on what exactly lag is, let's take a look at some of the ways you can minimize it. Wi-Fi is everywhere these days, and in many ways, it's an upgrade from wired connections. It's certainly more convenient, that's for sure. But despite its many advantages over wired connections, Wi-Fi has one glaring flaw that simply cannot be overstated for the purposes of gaming. It will always result in high latency. There is simply no getting around this. After all, Wi-Fi has to deal with plenty of interference, including both other routers and other wireless devices in the vicinity. And that's if your PC is in the same room. If not, then the signal also has at least one wall to contend with, which can prove quite problematic for lag. A wired connection, on the other hand, gives you a faster and more stable connection without any of the interference. Gaming is generally an expensive hobby, especially if you want to be competitive about it. But strangely enough, wired trumps wireless here, even though the latter is generally more expensive. However, we know that a wired connection is simply not an option sometimes. So let's take a look at some of the things you can do to improve your wireless gaming experience. If for whatever reason, you can't set up a wired connection on your PC, you should consider investing in a dual band router. Gaming on the 5 GHz band will generally result in lower lag since there will be less interference on account of most devices using the standard 2.4 GHz band. The 5 GHz signal can also pass through obstacles more easily. Just keep in mind that, while more powerful, the 5 GHz signal also has a lower range than the 2.4 GHz one. Of course, you can still get the benefits of the 5 GHz signal even if your gaming setup is far from the router by investing in a Wi-Fi extender. We've compiled lists for both the best routers and extenders currently on the market, so definitely check them out if you think that this is the right solution for you. The links are in the description. But before dropping any serious cash on these devices, you should try removing the number of obstacles that stand between your PC and the router. This means either finding a new place for the router or moving the PC closer to it, since we assume you can't very well rearrange the walls in your house on such a whim. This still won't take care of the interfacing issue. If your family members or roommates are streaming 4K or even HD videos, chances are this will reflect on your in-game latency. But it might help enough to the point where you won't need to spend money on better routers or extenders. 
And speaking of interface, it may not even be other devices that are causing the problem, but simply background processes running on the PC as you're playing. If an application decided it was time to get some updating done in the middle of your game, you'd surely suffer from increased latency. With a slow enough internet connection, simply having the application up and running in the background could cause a similar issue if said application needs to communicate with its own server. Since we don't know how many programs you have installed and how many of them are constantly running in the background, you'll have to handle this one on your own. But hopefully we've set you up in the right direction. However, let's go over some of the programs that everyone has. It's more than likely that you have Steam installed, which can be hugely problematic as it likes to download stuff as you're gaming. This can be turned off by going to Settings, and then Downloads, and then unchecking the Allow Downloads During Gameplay checkbox. After that, it's only a matter of minimizing the amount of background activity while gaming, from torrents to miscellaneous programs you may not even know you have. And speaking of programs you may not even know you have, bloatware, malware, and of course, viruses can all contribute to your computer feeling sluggish. This sluggishness extends to in-game lag, so having some sort of anti-malware is a must. But since anti-malware programs are quite resource intensive in their own right, you may want to get into the habit of turning them off when you start gaming and back on when you're finished. And if random updates of small programs can make a mess of your gaming experience, it should go without saying that Windows updates make the situation even worse. These background downloads that you're not even aware of are going to hog all of the bandwidth they can get their hands on. Now Windows 10 has a bad habit of forcing users to install updates at the most inconvenient of times. However, there is a way you can work around this issue. By going to Settings, then clicking on Updates and Security, Windows Updates, and finally Advanced Options, you'll be given an option to pause updates for around a month or so. Keep in mind that you'll have to go through this process every month since the setting will reset every time. But this will make sure that you don't suffer at the hands of Windows Updates while you're gaming. We also recommend turning off Windows Location Service by going to Settings, Privacy, and then Location since this service hogs way more bandwidth than you'd actually think. There are many reasons why you might want to use a VPN while browsing the internet, but the ads for these services fail to mention the detrimental effect they have on online games. When you use a VPN, the signal is always routed through a VPN server before communicating with the game server. This inevitably leads to higher lag since you're forcing the signal to make an unnecessary pit stop. This gets worse the further the VPN server is, but it's not something you should endure even if the VPN server is relatively close. Now the good thing is that you don't need to stop using a VPN altogether. You can just turn it off when gaming and then turn it back on when you're done. It can be a hassle to manually do this all the time, but the lower lag will save you a lot of headaches in the long run, so it's definitely worth it. You may also want to get into the habit of turning your modem or router on and off again every so often. Believe it or not, this can help out with latency issues since it resets the DNS cache and gets rid of any irrelevant data that may still be slowing things down. Plus, it resets your IP and the connection with your internet service provider so it can help regardless of whether you're gaming on a wired or a wireless connection. You shouldn't expect huge decreases in latency, but since every millisecond counts, this is certainly worth doing every once in a while. And seeing as we've already mentioned internet service providers, we should let you know that sometimes the problems can lie wholly with them. If you're noticing latency spikes at specific times of day, for example early evening, then it's likely that your ISP's network is just overloaded at these times. In this case, you should check to see whether you're actually getting what you're paid for. It's not like the ISP is going to take action on their own if you don't complain. As they say, it's the squeaky wheel that gets the grease. Now, if it does turn out that the problem lies with the ISP, all we can say is good luck. Not all internet service providers are the same. Some may be able and willing to fix the issue, some may not. It all depends on where you live and how lucky you get. If you do decide to switch to another ISP, you should look to get a fiber optic connection. This is easily the fastest type of internet connection at the moment, but it's also a bit more expensive and not available everywhere. Still, if money's not an issue and you want the best performance, this is the way to go. 
If not, just be sure to avoid a satellite connection since these are the slowest of the bunch for obvious reasons. And lastly, there may be cases where you suffer from high latency even if you have a fast, wired connection and no background programs or updates stifling the bandwidth. In which case, it all boils down to the server. Most large online games feature several servers all around the world, and connecting to the one closest to your location is bound to result in lower latency. You could be doing everything else right, but if you live in Europe and you game on an American server, you'll simply have higher latency. There's no getting around this. So always make sure you're gaming on the closest server for the most optimal performance. However, there are also some online games that don't rely on servers. These games utilize peer-to-peer -peer hosting, which works by having all the devices involved communicating with each other in place of a server. This hosting method has its advantages, but it can get pretty horrible if a lot of players are connected. If just one of these players suffers from latency issues, it can result in some game-breaking glitches for everyone. So if you know you're doing everything else right and you still have latency issues, check how the game is hosted. If the lag is there as a result of poor peer-to-peer -peer connection or a server simply isn't up to snuff, then you can either find solace in the knowledge that all the other players are probably having an equally unfun experience or quit the game entirely in favor of another one that handles hosting better. And that about does it for this video. To sum it up, a wired connection is always better than a wireless one, but even a wireless connection can be improved with proper proximity and use of dual band routers. There is also no shortage of programs vying for bandwidth, from Steam and anti-malware programs to Windows updates and everything in between. Turning all of these off can do wonders for latency. Keep in mind also that the use of VPNs is detrimental to latency. However, sometimes the problem will lie with either your internet service provider or the game itself, in which case your options are much more limited. In any case, we hope you found this video helpful. You can let us know if you have by liking it, subscribing to our channel, and leaving a comment. And if you think your friends would also benefit from watching it, do them a favor and share it around. Also click on the bell icon if you don't want to miss any of our upcoming videos. We make new content every week, so the next one is right around the corner. In the meantime, may your games be fun and your losses few. And as always, we'll see you next time on Gaming Scan.